Hello, Reformers, and welcome back to Star Wars Conquest. Now, as you may have noticed on the channel, there haven't been any videos uploaded, and there's a very good reason for that. I'm a little sick, but I didn't really want to allow you to go without some of my videos for a while, so I decided to make one even though I'm still, you know, a little bit under the weather. So, here we are back with Blizz Arjawa, and we are now at a Raxus Prime shipyards area thing place and I thought it would be a good idea to check out the shipyard itself as you can see you currently don't own a spaceship well we well, kind of we do but not really so this is one of the cooler things about Star Wars Conquest itself and the mod obviously because you can buy a variety of different things you can get a Lambda class T-4A shuttle you can get an Imperial trade frigate which actually is pretty nice. As you can see, it has a de decent base speed and lots of space for either troops or cargo. Now, this can actually determine, as far as I'm aware, how much capacity you have for troops and actually having cargo. So if you want to trade, then that's definitely the way to go. Obviously, these things... Uh, there's a T-Wing as well. It's got good weaponry and powerful drives. Obviously, uh, it doesn't have any cargo or anything like that. As a Jawa, I think... We are probably going to go for the Imperial Trade Frigate. However, as you can see, I already kind of gave myself a good amount of money. And I thought, oh yeah, this is going to be enough. This is going to be enough to give me something good. But unfortunately, I need another 20,000. So we're going we're gonna to go and do that. Oh, here we go. We can actually apply for a loan. All loans run for 30 days. You will need to repay your loan before that time runs out. Well, let's do it. Take a loan of 5,000. Oh no, I don't want to repay it. Oh, oh, oh no, a loan of 5,000. Is that it? Really? Okay, well, there are some merchants here as well that I thought we might want to check out. Oh, droid parts. So if we want to be a half droid, half Jawa, there we go. We can do that. That's kind of hilarious. And there is also a LOM series droid, which basically... That's Yoon, isn't it? That, that looks like Yoon to me. And there is an HK series, a 3PO series as well and of course they have all of the regular battle droids and if you want to be an r2 droid then you can do that as well which is actually kind of cool in my opinion this is also quite amazing as a power droid you can refill ammo of your nearby team members when it's equipped and you can also refill health of nearby team when equipped as well i if i actually make a full series on this in the future i think i'm actually going to just play a medical droid there you go Medical droid, done. Yeah, that, that, that's actually kind of hilarious and awesome at the same time because I personally feel like that is actually really cool to be able to restore your unit's health. I actually don't even know how much it would restore it by, but obviously it would be quite a bit, I would assume. But yes, so there's the droid parts. If you wanted to actually make a droid of some sort, you can actually go to any of the shipyards and find these, I would assume. There's also a slave trader. You're not the usual scum. Ah, yes, of course. Slaves. Where do the slaves come from? Well, I just find them anywhere, of course. Okay, so yeah, you could sell things there. And there's a Clone War era's, era merchant, so you can now get Clone Trooper helmets, which you can actually press V to enable the helmet view, which is actually really nice, too. So, yeah, if you wanted to be a Clone Trooper, if you want to have, you know, Republic forces and, you know, use a rifle similar to that, and there's even Clone Trooper heads here as well, obviously in the style of Django Fett, after all. That's pretty nice. And then we have Force-sensitive merchants and Force-sensitive trainers. Of course, these are all lightsabers. And do they have double-bladed? Yes, they do. Double-bladed lightsabers, reverse-grip lightsabers, which, in my opinion, is actually really cool. I like the reverse-grip lightsabers because they, they're just really, really cool, in my opinion. Anyway, you can actually get lightsaber shields as well, so you can have dual wield. Yeah, that's pretty awesome, in my opinion. So apart from that, we have the Force Sensitive Trainer, which will give you Force Powers. So if you have Force Knowledge, you can have Initiate Force Powers, Apprentice Force Powers, Knight Force Powers, and so on and so forth. Now this, of course, do require Force Push or Force Lightning, and we do have Force Kill here. Hurts player when used. Yeah, Force Choke and there's Force Jump as well. Force Protect might actually be pretty cool. There's Force Push. Force Block, and there's Force Lightning. I think Force Lightning is probably the best. Seems to do a lot of damage. Well, it, it gives you 
more range in my opinion or and it has a bonus against shields as well which is actually pretty nice but as you can see you do need a little bit to be able to equip this and it does blunt damage of all things it does blunt damage so you can actually knock people unconscious I actually don't think all of those people that Darth Vader and various other Sith force choked would have just got unconscious but I suppose they do get unconscious and then eventually die but oh well never mind plastic surgeon there's also a plastic surgeon. Oh yes, so you can just oh you can get a bib fortuna head. Yes, if you want to, yes, you can do that. There's a Nikto head, clone troopers of course, Grand Moff Tarkin as well. Ah, well there you go. Well, he knew who Darth Vader was after all. He guessed, didn't he? Yes, he definitely did. So, otherwise we have the illegal weapons merchant which is going to give you various overpowered things and you don't have to use these Obviously, I, I would probably say that they're going to break the game rather a lot, and these thermal detonators are certainly going to do that as well. But that's actually pretty nice. It's pretty nice how, you, how they give you just a huge amount of different weaponry and customization as well, because Mount of Blade, in general, is not very good when it comes to its character customization, and it's really nice to see that you can actually make yourself into anything you want. You can be an alien, you can be a droid, or you can just be a plain old boring human. But... For now, what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and purchase that Imperial Frigate. Okay, so as you can see, I've given myself a little bit more credits because this is a special feature, mini-series, whatever you want to call it. I am going to just enhance our progression just so that we can experience some more of the extravagant things that you can expect to see in the mod. And as you see here, when I went back in the shipyard, we actually have a different selection of ships. Yeah, every time you go into the shipyard, you get a different selection which is apparently pretty cool because you can actually get this, which is an Imperial Victory 2 frigate. You can get that, or you can get an Imperial Dreadhort, Dreadnought Heavy Cruiser, which is amazing. The, it might be outdated, but it fields a great firepower and is still respected by both Rebels and Imperials. That's actually not bad. And then we have this, which is the Imperial Interdictor Star Destroyer. Yeah, that's pretty amazing. Isn't designed for heavy line combat, but it's excellent excellent for tracking medium-sized ships. And I actually saw a bunch of others which are just as amazing. And as you can see, I can just go back in here and then see other things. If you're after loads of space for your troops, the Imperial Star Destroyer is the way to go. Yeah, you can also get this, which is the Trade Frigate, and you can get all kinds of other things. It's actually quite amazing. I am thinking I'm probably going to go for something like this, because this has cargo capacity and troop capacity. So we're just going to go for that. I was going to go for the Conf uh, Confederacy. Uh, what, was, what was it now? Where is it? Uh, I don't know whether it's going to appear again. If it doesn't appear again, that's going to be kind of sad. But I saw something really, really amazing. But as you can see here, a good choice for bounty hunters or small mercenary ships. There you go. That's actually pretty nice. If you're going to roleplay a bounty hunter, then you can do that, of course. Oh, where is it? Oh, wow. We get to we do get to see some more of the unique ships, I suppose. And, ah, there it is. Excellent. So, there we are. Th this is a Lucra Hulk class battleship. It is initially designed as a heavy transport. The Lucra Hulk class ship is multi-purpose and mul perfectly defends itself. Well, there you go. Absolutely amazing. 200,000 credits. That's why I went for 200,000, because there's that, of course. And it does actually have amazing troop capacity, medical bay, all that sort of thing. So we're actually going to be buying this. Can I buy it? Yes, buy it. There we go. And we can also upgrade it. Look at that. Your current ship is a Lucra Hulk class battleship. To buy a new ship, you have to sell your current one first. Don't want to do that, obviously, but now you can upgrade it. So we have 8,000 to spend. I can, of course, upgrade it however I so desire. I'm going to upgrade it with the drive a little bit more because I want to make it a little bit faster. It's quite a slow ship after all, and we're now going to get a little bit more cargo capacity too. So there you go. So now I should have, I actually don't know how that affects us quite, but we can walk around our ship if we so desire, which might actually be pretty cool, but faction... Management options. Recruit a new commander. Your faction currently has zero generals. Manage your territories. Well, we currently don't have any territories, unfortunately, but as you see, there's actually huge amounts of depth to this. There's even holocrons to find as well, which I'm pretty sure is, is, is pretty amazing. There's random assassination attempts. 
Of course, you can change your colors, your faction colors and everything. And there's random scene attacks as well. So there is just so much to do here. Obviously, we've already seen the change your race. You can modify your banner, sort your inventory, and even upgrade your troops. No one can upgrade. Yeah, but I I think that's fine. I think that's pretty good. Let's walk around, shall we? Let's walk around. So let's go to let's go to the command bridge because I want to see if it actually changes dependent on the ship you have. It doesn't seem to change, but that's perfectly fine because obviously they've already made a scene to represent it, which I have to say is okay. Well, there's a slight issue here. <laughs> there is a slight issue. Walk into the back to tank to heal yourself. Well, I will do that, but I would like to be able to see what's actually going on here, so... Ah, yes, it seems to have bugged out once again, but where is the back to tank? Here? Is, is this it? No? You're being healed by the back to tank. Really? Wow. Whoa, that's cool. That is cool. So if you don't want to wait on the battle map, you can actually just go into your ship and heal yourself without having to wait. And that is very, very useful because if you're going to do a siege or if you're going to do, shall we say, a more up-to-date modern term dependent on yeah, Star Wars terminology, if you're going to attack a planet and attempt to blow it up or something, then you are and, and, and you have huge amounts of enemies surrounding you, you probably don't want to wait too long, do you? No, you don't want to wait too long, so that's actually pretty nice. And what's actually going on there? Rebel Alliance. Hello, Rebel Alliance. Uh, well, I'm going to head on over here. As you can see, our sprite on the main map has now changed as well, which I've got to say is very cool. Because usually when, when you get a new horse or when you get something that's new that is to do with your travel, nothing changes. But they, they, they change it here. They change it here, and that's really, really nice. So there is a ransom broker here. I would like to speak and hire some soldiers. Here we go. Let's hire some people. Well, that's actually... That's the thing. I can't actually hire anyone, can I? Well, that's kind of sad, isn't it? Well, I think I'm actually... What I'm going to do is I'm going to try and get some more money. I'm going to actually just give myself some more money. And then I'm going to recruit as many people as I can from as many places as I can. And then we're going to try and attack a rather large party of... Hmm, shall we go for the Rebels or shall we go for the Empire? I think we'll probably attack the Rebels and then we'll maybe go for the Empire after that. Alright, so I have spent many days getting all of these troops ready. As you can plainly see by my... It's warning on day one of your adventure. Yes, as you can see, I did not do any kind of cheating. Oh, no way. I did this all legit with my spreadsheet, of course. Anyway, as you can see here, we have some EG series power droids, medical droids, IG series assassin droids, and we have some defilers as well. I decided that we'd go for a droid heavy army. Maybe at some point, if I actually make a full series of this, I'm going to go for like a full droid army or something along those lines. Maybe because, as you know, Jawas trade in, in droids most of the time. So, anyway, I have found a person for us to attack. Commander Elta Tuntrin. And they are part of the Rebel Alliance. So let us do this. I'm actually unsure. Wait a minute. Ah, apparently they might have gotten some assistance from those fellows over there. So I don't really want to do that. But I would like to attack them now. Well, Blizz, what is it? I'm here to deliver you to my demands. Yes. Prepare to fight. Okay, let's do this. Land and fight on Raxus Prime, or we can fight on the ship. What do we want to do? Land and fight on Raxus Prime or fight on the ship? Let's fight on the ship for now. Ooh, okay, this is... Oh, this is not looking good. Ooh, look at this. Oh, yes, HK has the first kill, of course. He is amazing. And here is the first-person view. When you zoom in, you can actually get a little bit of a... A tactical overlay there, which is actually very cool, in my opinion. So, that's pretty nice. Now, unfortunately, it seems as though... <laughs> it seems as though the medical droids are running in, which is kind of hilarious in itself. They do actually have Jedi there as well. They do actually have Jedi on their side, which is never a good thing, is it? But, as you can see, I actually have full ammo because I have so much... So many ammo droids just giving us ammo as far, as far as I'm aware. Is that the reason? Well, I have no idea, but I really do need to get a better weapon. 
don't I? I very much do need to get a better weapon. But there it is. There's a small look at Star Wars Conquest. We might actually be taking a better look at some of the siege mechanics because I'd love to be able to see what actually happens when we attack one of the rebels or the empire's forces. I think that would actually be really cool. So, yeah, with that, I thank you very much for watching part two of our special feature. And let me know if you want to see another part. Anyway, I thank you once again, and I will see you next time.